It's Sophie from The Brown Kitchen and woo, they're here. The Ultimate Diary Planner 2015 has arrived and we'll be uh, hitting everybody's doorsteps very soon so they can start getting busy and planning for the year ahead and obviously managing their to-do list as well. And I thought, well, I knew you were all really interested in finding out what they were all about and what they look like inside. So here we go. Lovely, nice and thick book to keep you busy for the year. So obviously nice bright cover and then when we go in you've got a nice bit of quote there to keep you inspired. We like this one. Productivity is never an accident. It is always the result of a commitment to excellence, intelligent planning and a focused effort. So you'll find lots of inspirational quotes in here to keep you motivated throughout the year. So then we go to... Da, 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 da. So this one is... Where am I now? One of the most important ways of being able to keep track of where you're going is being able to look back and see where you were to start with so you can see how you've grown. So this page is a double page spread and it gives you all the space you need to write down all of the things of where you are now. So your turnover, your profit, how you feel about the business, what sort of uh, things you've got happening online. Then we go into the year goals. So you've got a nice big page where you can write down all of your goals for the year. Uh, it's a nice space so you can scribble in lots of things and it's kind of at a glance stuff. Then we have a second at a glance page for the year. This one clearly shows each of the days. So you could use this in a number of different ways. You can write in there special offers you've got coming up on set days, days when you're working, days when you're not working things that are happening. There's already some of these filled in. So there's some, there's some fun things in there, uh, like day of awesomeness on the 10th of March and Valentine's day, Christmas, uh, squirrel appreciation day, world music day, world nature conservation day, all sorts of things like that. So there's a few dates in there already that you can potentially do some special offers for. You can obviously add in other ones as well. So it's just a nice, again, it's at a glance. So you'll be able to just open up the double page spread and you've got everything there at a glance. We then go into 2015 rules, the things that you want to be doing and not doing in 2015. And then there's a planner to help you plan your social media. And of course, because you get a digital version of this as well, you can reprint off any of these pages you want to redo them either any time during the year or just because you fancy it or maybe you'd like to do a few mock-ups first and then fill in the main one on here when you've got that sorted in your head. So then we've got more of these pages to come. I've done a thing called the Super Statistics Tracker, which basically gives you each of the months of the year, going right across for the two pages. And I've put a few in there to start with. So you've got mailing list, Facebook likes, Twitter followers, Google Plus followers, Pinterest subscribers, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, kind of the main social medias. But you can, there's loads of space here to add in anything else that you want to add in. So you can keep track of it here. And I would suggest maybe filling it in on the same day each month. So maybe the 30th of the month or something. So then you can look back at the end of the year and you can see how much everything's grown, which is always exciting. And obviously keep track of what you've got going on now. Then we've got a little section called I Deserve It, which if you've been on my 30 day course, you'll recognize it's ever so slightly tweaked, but the essence of it is there. And obviously it's a bit more comprehensive in the course, but in this one, it just gives you a rough idea. And it's things that you want to be doing if you've got a little bit of time left over. So it's a space for you to write down the things that you enjoy so that when you have time, when you and, and I would suggest planning in time, but if you find you've got a spare hour, you can look in here and you can find the things that you know you like to do that feed your soul and then you can do them. And then we have some recommended books, my little recommended reads, um, a bit about writing a gratitude diary because I'm a big gratitude diary fan and I think everybody should have one to inject a little bit more positivity in their life. So I can tell you all about it there. Then we have outsourcing, an outsourcing brainstorm and a planner. So you can plan who you're gonna outsource, how you're gonna outsource, how much it's gonna cost, etc. And then we get into the nuts and bolts of the planner because ultimately it's a daily to-do manager, to-do list manager and monthly manager as well. So it's about uh, giving you something that you can use to you know, motivate and inspire yourself and set some goals, but then also day to day, manage your to-do list and keep on top of the important things. So each month, you'll find a month page like this, 
which is a double page spread which gives you everything you need to track out your month so you look at the good things that happened in the month before you write down the things your your kind of top goals that you want to achieve in the month coming up and then you've got a space for things you want to do that month the most important events and and a space for you to write down special events that are coming up as well and we've also jotted in some of the key events already that are coming up that month that might be useful for you like bank holidays and things there's also a space for notes and you'll find you can find them fairly easily because they're all blue all the month ones are blue so when you look down through your book you'll be able to find all the blue ones in there because they're all the same blue so that's the month one and then you've also got a double page spread of notes so you can write notes you can keep track of your notes and every month there's two of these double page spreads of notes so you've got plenty of space to actually scribble down the important things that you need to keep track of because I wanted this to be a combination of a notepad and a diary and a goal planning thing so it's a bit of a mishmash of lots of things together and a, a real desk buddy if you will so then you get into the weekly planners so this is a full week Monday to Sunday and each day has got everything that you need to plan your day and keep it all there. So we've got the most important events for that day. And some of these have got, so this one's got New Year's Day already added. So they're Valentine's Day, Christmas, bank holidays and stuff. They've already got some in and there's space for you to add extras. And obviously because it's spiral bound, it's really handy. You can just have it open or flat on your desk however you want it. So we've got important events happening. We've got most important tasks that are going to happen today. So and they've got a tick box. So maybe three really important things that you've absolutely got to get done that day. It keeps you focused on those. If you're anything like me, <laughs> you'll jot down loads of things in here and then you still won't get these ones done. So this is a way of trying to get the most important things done of your day. And then we've got a little mini day planner. So it may be that you want to split your day. So you've got kind of pre-breakfast, between breakfast, breakfast and lunch, afternoon and then after dinner, so evening. Uh, and you can kind of jot down things that you might want to do in that time. Obviously, if you don't want to use that for that, you can just jot in some notes. You can use it for whatever you wish. And then we've got a really comprehensive space for you to list all the things you've got to do that day. Now, of course, there's no times on these because I find that it's easy just to write these things in. And if you want to add in times, you can obviously just add the times in to suit you. I did look at adding specific times on here, but everybody's days are so different that do you add them you know, from seven in the morning till seven at night or nine till five or what do you do? So this gives you the space to write in your own times as and when you need them, if you want them. If not, you just write down what you need to do and then there's tick boxes. So whether you're a ticker or a striker, whether you like to cross things out or tick them off, you can do either or, or both, however you feel. Uh, and there's a little extra one down here, which is what's for dinner, because we're all busy planning the, <laughs> the week. And sometimes it's really handy to jot down what's for dinner. And I have got in the pipeline a ultimate meal planner uh, but it's not quite finished yet. So in the meantime, we've got a little note here for you to put that through. And then on this page, you'll see every week has got a nice inspirational quote to inspire you. And then a little box here, fab stuff that happened this week. So that's a bit of a gratitude moment. So you write down some of the good things that have happened that week. And there is also a space for notes as well. So there's ample space for you to keep notes and make sure that you know you've got everything to hand so that basically goes through you've got each of the weeks then you've got another page spread and then you've got the next month and there is an inspirational quote at the top of the month as well because I don't think you can ever have too many inspirational quotes so basically that is it in a nutshell and that will keep going for you through the whole of the year so this will last you the whole of 2015 and then in 2016 you can get the next one and you can then fill in your where am I now and all of your goal setting and you can compare notes to how you got on this year. So where do you buy them from? The, uh, you go to www.ultimatediaryplanner.com and you can get your hands on them there and they'll be posted out in one of these fabulous, ooh, let me grab it pink bubble envelopes which are absolutely awesome so what are you waiting for head over to ultimate diaryplanner.com now and order your copy and start getting 
planning and managing of your notes and have a fantastic 2015 because this is the time to make it happen and as you know it's all very well buying these things but you've got to implement them so if you want to have extra help with that you can obviously join my brand kitchen club as well where you can chat with other people that have got the planner and are doing fun things and have me cheering you along the way and motivating you to set some goals and make some awesome stuff happen so if you've got any questions, be sure to ask me. You can find me on social media or you can whiz me an email from my website, brandkitchen.co.uk. So head on over, ultimatediaryplanner.com. Go over there now, get hold of your copy. It will be posted out to you. Look out for a nice pink envelope to arrive on your doorstep and get terribly excited and start stroking the pages if you're anything like me. Then your next biggest conundrum is what pen to use. If you're anything like me, you'll have an, a multitude of different pens to use. I quite have a bit of a fascination with these ones at the moment. Nice little fountain pens in pink and in purple and potentially turquoise as well. So I like to cross things out in a different colour to what I write them in as. <laughs> so if you'd like to share your stationary obsessions and quirkinesses you can obviously do so on social media and I would love if you buy one for you to share a picture of how you're using it and uh, and just let me know any feedback you've got so we can make the 2016 one even better still so enjoy and I'll look forward to sending you your planner very soon <laughs>